Now let's talk about the city data portal. The data portal can be a useful tool for looking up information about the city, whether it's finding street names, searching building violations, crime statistics, and city-owned property for sale. The portal contains a variety of things. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will learn how to search venue licenses, specifically for businesses that have a public place of amusement license. First thing you want to do is open up your web browser. Go to data.cityofchicago.org. The main page here offers different data sets, and you can sort them. Up in the right corner here, by clicking on Most Access, it brings up a drop down menu Most Relevant, Most Access, Alphabetical, Newest, Oldest, and you can also sort by date. So this week, this month, this year. Let's go over to the search bar. Let's type in Business License. Press enter. This brings up anything that has business or license as a keyword. If you hover over the different types, we'll find out what the data set is. So this is the table, this is the data lens page, a filtered view, or map. Let's click on business licenses current active. It brings up a detailed spreadsheet of all businesses that currently have an active license issued by the city. You can customize this view by clicking on a column on the left side of it. You can drag it left or right so you can sort it however you want. You can also click on the Manage button so you can sort the column specifically of which ones you want or don't want in it to be shown. And then click Apply. Each column has an information icon, so if you hover over it, it'll bring down a detailed message of what the column is about. Also a drop down menu right to the right of it so you can sort the columns, you can filter, you can hide it, or edit the properties. We are searching for a public place of amusement license and there are a couple ways that we can find it. Under the drop down menu of license description we can go to filter this column and we can scroll down until we get to public place of amusement license. Or we can also go to filter, add a new filter condition, and we know that the license code for a PPA license is 1050. So we type in 1050, enter. We now have a spreadsheet of only businesses with current active PPA licenses. From here, we have a few options of what we can do with that information. If you're logged in with your Secreta ID, and you can save this part particular data set for use at a later time without having to go through the whole search again. Click Save As, and you want to type in something you can remember. So PPA licenses. Save. We can also export this data set by going over to Export. You can export as a PDF, an XML, and then by doing this, you can put it into Excel or another spreadsheet application. From here, we can also get a visual representation of where each venue is specifically located within the city. Click on Visualize, Map. Under Plot Style, you want to change it to Point Map. And then you want to go to Apply. Chicago will be broken down into different zones. It will make it easier to show each business. When you click on a specific zone, it will create a smaller list of only businesses within that zone, and when you hover over the business, it will highlight the point on the map. Once you're done, you can reset your search by clicking on Revert. And that will conclude how to use the data portal to look up licenses.